Hello and welcome to Automation Zone. In today's web driver session, we are going to talk about alerts. So, what are alerts? Alerts are these various small pop-ups, okay, which are basically just Java scripts that are thrown by the browser. And unless we perform an action on these alerts, we cannot perform any other step going forward. So, let's see an example. We go to W3 schools for this. W3 schools go to the website so click on javascript it's good to have knowledge on javascript you know because uh, it's very helpful if selenium is not going to perform an operation you can get it done by javascript as well we learn it in our advanced sessions of selenium so scroll down come all the way to this um, browser object methods right here and click on this uh, Java script pop-up alert okay so once you come here there are three types basically basic three types so the first one is a simple alert box so here we are click on try it yourself let's navigate to this page and click on try it and we get this particular alert box unless you click on ok we cannot perform any other step okay so let me copy this url let me paste it right here i guess i've already pasted it yes i will be giving you all of these urls you know in the section below this video okay and this is the xpath for this button called try it let me click on try it so it is just a button with a text called try it so here we go it's a button with a text try it one thing you all have to understand is this particular button okay called try it is within an iframe in the previous sessions uh, if you see we talked about iframes you before you perform any operation on any element within an iframe you have to switch to the particular iframe so the iframes name is iframe result so after we navigate to our page, let us perform driver dot switch to frame. Okay, and put in your frames name. And after you're done with it, then do driver dot switch to your parent frame. Once you're done with this, then let us go ahead and click on our alert box. So driver dot find element by xpath okay let me put in our xpath this xpath right here same one dot click now for our first example let us not perform any operation on our xpath and let us try to close the browser let's see what error we get so let me run this let's see what happens so our browser has opened up let me okay we have clicked on try it the alert box is opened up but a browser has not closed okay see an error what does our error say it says unexpected alert is open so until we close this particular alert window we cannot proceed further so to close this alert window is pretty simple so driver dot switch to dot alert as simple as this okay beyond this except is for clicking ok dismiss is for clicking cancel or just closing the pop-up okay so accept so what it'll do it'll click on try it it'll click on ok as simple as that let me run this now mm. and let's see if we get this same error so here we go browser has opened up okay pop-up came pop-up closed yeah it's too fast to even see it but as you see we we have not found any error now the next type of pop-up let me close this this is a simple alert box the next one is the confirmation pop-up let me click on try it it is the same type of pop-up 
only thing is we get ok and cancel now as we spoke if you click alert dot dot accept it click on ok if we click on alert dot dismiss it's going to click on cancel that's it so you see you have clicked on cancel and if you click on accept it's going to say we have clicked ok just go ahead and try this okay you will understand what I'm saying the last one is a bit different it's called the prompt pop-up let me click on try it yourself try it so it's going to give me a prompt it's currently says Harry Potter so if I say automation zone and I click on OK it says hello automation zone let's go ahead and try this so the initial steps are going to be the same I navigate to my URL I change my frame and I click on that particular button called try it I have to change the URL though so this is the URL for my prompt pop-up okay so how do I enter text within this pop-up mm -hmm. okay so to enter text within a pop-up you have to do the following driver dot again switch to alert and in this you have got send keys so in send keys let me type in automation zone okay so I've typed aut automation zone after that yes I want to click on cans so I have to click on accept or ok so driver dot switch to dot alert dot accept and after clicking on accept you definitely want to view the particular message so let me just do a small uh, thread dot sleep over here thread dot sleep let me okay this is weird let me wait over here for say five seconds okay simple enough I'm waiting for five seconds then I'll go ahead and close the browser let me run this so here we go we clicked on try it and here we go hello automation zone okay okay another thing to note is that uh, sometimes you'll click on this uh, try it it'll enter automation zone but you will not see the automation zone written over here it's okay even though you're not able to see it being written it has been written there's a small problem with the driver the way it is you know being seen to you but the text has been entered okay that's one common problem that we get the other thing is uh, if you're using the alert over and over again you can definitely save this particular thing like AL alert you can make an object of your alert like so so import alert from open QA selenium and once you're done with that then instead of using the entire line over and over again you can just use alert dot send keys and alert not accept there is an alternate way of getting the work done it's pretty much the exact same thing okay if you have any other questions regarding alerts you know kindly comment and I will answer them for you thank you